or should I say afternoon almost on this pump Monday right it's a pump Monday it's a new week matter of fact it's the last week of this year so do what you can in this week go get your paper boo-boo get whatever you can to call it a wrap make this year a good finish because we've had one heck of a year anyway but I hope all you ninjas had a good uh, Christmas and holidays with your family and uh, got to enjoy it and spend some time and take a break and of course all those things before you come back into this slicing and dicing out here, you know. Busy bees out here, we're at this house. He's just uh, finishing up mulching some leaves. He did a really good job right there on the front. Um, there was a pretty decent amount of leaves and uh, looks like the ninjas mower with the uh, power chute blocker did a really good job. There he is back there. I don't know if you just saw it or not. But we've got, I've got 25 on the list. Um, two of them have go, canceled. They went ahead and said, let's go ahead and stop. So that's actually 23. But I had 25 written down. Anyway, so that's not bad. That's not bad. And I've got a couple more that I got to add throughout the week. But that's going to, I say probably about 30 to 32 for the week. There he is. There he is. There he is. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and start the video, Ninjas. Today, I want to dedicate this video to the one, the only, Busy B himself. That's right, and he doesn't even know it right now. He does not even know it. So today is payday. Uh, I pay on Mondays, every Monday. And so I haven't given him his check yet, but I've also got something else for him. Uh, as you guys have seen the title of this video, uh, this is definitely a... Um, you know dedication uh, to busy b and how i feel about him and how he's done with me this season busy b started with me uh beginning of let's see there he, he's parking the uh, ferris busy b has started with me i i want to say around may so he's been with me almost a year end of april or beginning of may and ninjas i've had a lot of people come and go i've had a lot of employees come and go a lot of them were good and uh, there was quite a few of them that were really bad but it has been nothing but a learning lesson for me with every single one of them things that I uh, need to you know be a little bit more stricter on things that I made mistakes um, and so it's a learning lesson every time you hire somebody it's a learning lesson like getting a guy that blows himself yeah that's a learning lesson too there he is one more time using the red max we really like those red max blowers i think i'm gonna give me some more red max equipment coming up going into next season uh it's our go-to blower man we just enjoy it but anyway back on topic um so i was very skeptical and 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 who who wasn't right i mean I, come on with all this going on we didn't know how serious it was when it first started to get introduced and people you know it was being thrown around but uh, I knew one thing I didn't want to risk nothing you know uh, I didn't want to get sick I didn't want to get my family sick so I was very very careful when I met Busy B he, he was just he came off right away as a smart young man who is trying to go to school for what he really wants to do but he really just needs a job um, we kind of communicated right you know got in touch right as this COVID stuff hit um, I made him take some couple of tests. He actually took some tests throughout this summer just because of uh, safety issues for his father. His father has some health issues and as is an older gentleman. And so he, he wanted to make sure, you know, not only for his job's sake, but also just to make sure he doesn't get his dad sick or anything like that. So I appreciate him, uh, you know, taking extra precautions and being, being safe on that aspect, which just reassured me that, you know, I got a good guy in hand. He cares for his family, he cares for his job, and he doesn't want to, you know, get himself sick. You gonna bring that rake? Cause you'll need it. Can I bring the weed eater too? Uh, yes, let me unlock it. Cause you know, there's stuff in there sometimes. Cause that needs to be weed eated. Got the camera rolling didn't even realize <laughs> what's up ninjas so we uh busy bee just finished mowing the back mulching hey look at the neighbor's grass it's coming in really nicely and uh what we're doing here is these front little shrubs nothing to it neighbor's yard has come in really nicely i am uh I'm pretty happy with the results, to be honest with you. 
wow if you remember some of you loyal ninjas who've been watching for a while this spot particularly was nothing but bear so it's coming in he told me he said uh, depending on weather we've had some freezing freezing cold weather but if it warms up any to throw down some more seed it's coming in nicely there's a little bare spot right there still but that's coming nicely look at that it's beautiful anyway um, we're gonna trim this up real quick that's a nice Ford right there and I love four trucks man something just just about them anyway we're gonna trim these up and busy bee is just gonna rake everything out we eat a little bit in there blow everything out and then uh, when you do the front here just mulch everything up one two three four five medium size and then the two small that's it nothing to it no big deal busy bee went ahead and weeded it all around the mailbox get it all in the middle of the yard and mulch it up i'm gonna go ahead and uh record busy bee mulching we're using the power shoot design has this thing helped us or what yeah. it's been a really really awesome piece of equipment that has helped us a lot when it comes to these leaves and just mulching in general including the brush so uh, i really like it and i haven't had any issues with it yet so hopefully it stays that way but only time will tell <laughs> And there it is you can see how well it really mulches everything up and cleans up the yard i mean it's it's just amazing uh busy bees uh, gonna go ahead and blow off all the edges around and put it back in the yard and maybe mulch it one more time just like a finishing thing and then just do a final blow off and then we're done dust one thing i can say about busy bee he's probably the only one that I have literally not lost any sleep over that not probably I, I really believe he is that I have not lost any sleep over about him showing up doing his job not complaining no attitude just the young man shows up and shows up when I tell him to and does what I ask of him and is always respectful and just absolutely uh good attitude i i can't ask for more look in the industry that we're in really i think in any uh, you know hard labor type of industry work environment but i can only speak for lawn care we all know especially all of you ninjas out there who are business owners it is really hard to find good help and i know that beat gets thrown around a lot but it really is true and you only can grow your business so much without any good employees. And boy, can you ruin your business with some bad employees. Why are you looking at me all like, your ears went upward and you're like, what you talking about? Mm-hmm. So just stay tuned, we're out of here.
we're off to the next one hey uh, we got those two trees right there in the front on that house right there we got to go ahead and cut uh they're not really that big of a deal so we can go ahead and do it but we're not going to do it today i'm hoping i'll get to it probably uh i'm gonna try by this weekend if i can anyway so stay tuned we're gonna surprise busy b with the bonus this is the second time that i've done this so normally i don't do this normally i require people to stay with me for at least one full year uh, before i even offer anything like this but if anybody anybody deserves it more it's this young man behind me busy b himself why are you starting to blow her again blow you gotta blow yourself off you see this ninjas just when i speak highly of him he goes over there and dingles with my blower <laughs> Uh, it's cold, man. Blow, blow, blow your... Oh! Was that a good blow-off job? Pretty good. Did you blow yourself pretty good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, you know how I feel about you. Yeah. And you know I've spoken very highly of you. And I want to say I appreciate for everything you have done, truly. Off camera, on camera, you know that that's how I really feel. And, um, you know, I, I never give any kind of... Now, you know I always top off your checks every week, right? Now, yeah. can you say that for yourself? No, you do. Every week, right? There has not been a single week where I have not rounded it up, whether it be mm -hmm. 40 bucks, 20 bucks, 10 bucks. 50 bucks i think once or twice i've done right a couple times a couple times so i've always you always get a tip at the end of the week regardless of what your hours are and that's just my extra going that extra mile of saying thank you for what you do man you know that right yeah okay well busy b this is your check thank that's you. your check for the hours you don't need to open that right now or if you want to look at it that's fine but i also have for you a busy bonus <laughs> <laughs> okay now i would like for you to look at that and uh just uh you know i want your expression on this man Alrighty. i appreciate you thank you for everything you do i was just telling them um how long have you worked for me now before you open that uh -huh. you started around may yeah so let's what seven eight months going on a year basically coming that's up it. And one of the things you know that's in my paperwork and I've made it clear to you, you know, I don't do any kind of bonuses or anything until you complete one full year with me. Now, do you remember why I do that? Why? Yeah, just in case someone does you wrong or something like that. Because I've had a lot of turnover rate and in this industry there's a lot of turnover rate. So I just, it's just one of those kind of things that I put in place like, hey, if you really stick it out and make it through, you know, there's benefits and things that are coming your way including a pay raise as you know you already got one well you got what you asked for yeah and then there's another one coming up this next year and so the bonus wasn't really going to take effect until this upcoming year but with i was you know praising um about you and speaking highly about you with how you've been with me man this year and um showing up on time whenever i ask you doing what i ask of you no complaints no bad attitude you've never you have your own life you got your own problems as we all do but you never one time showed up to work with a bad attitude or you know just you don't want it showing me that you don't want to be here you don't want to do this you just do what you do what you need to do and you get the job done and yeah. and for that man thank you. thank you i appreciate you now go ahead Look at it yourself first and is that good? Appreciate it. Is that good? I appreciate you. You want to show it to the ninjas? Oh an extra five hundos. Alright. Thank you, brother. I mean it, man. Alright. So there you go. His expression, look at that. He, he cheesed it. Now he's got two envelopes. He's like, I'm gonna open this next one later. When Nick's not looking. <laughs> I think this is going to be a wrap. We just finished up with this one. Didn't get a chance to record because we were just trying to get done. But uh, cleaned up all the leaves. Looks good. Got everything on there. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. How was it, baby? Pretty, pretty good day? Good. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Not too bad, right? Pretty easy. Pretty easy and it's not hot, right? That's always a good bonus. Feels good out here. So... Hey, real quick, I just want to say, I think I found a truck. 
I'm actually pretty serious about this truck. Um, I'm serious enough tomorrow that I'm going to go test drive it and take it to a mechanic, a, di a professional diesel mechanic shop, and uh, let them just check it out. I think, what, what do you say, about 100 bucks? Yeah, about 100. 100 bucks? 105? Yeah, somewhere around there. I'm willing to pay for that because I want to make sure, you know, everything. And the only reason I'm uh, willing to pay for that and really get it checked out is why. Just make sure there ain't nothing wrong with it. I know, but what, what's been I'll, done to uh, the truck? It's been deleted and tuned. It's been deleted. Oh, let me adjust the camera. It's been deleted and tuned, Ninjas, so I really just want to make sure that um, what can be wrong if it's what? Not tuned properly? We run a rich, lean, just a bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm really serious about this. Hey, if you're interested in to check out and see what kind of truck I'm talking about, check me out at SG underscore Ninjas underscore official. I posted some pictures earlier uh, today, and I've gotten a lot of good feedback. Uh, a lot of input, which I appreciate it from everybody. So check it out if, you, if you're interested to see. But tomorrow's video will be on that truck. So we will be going first thing in the morning, right? Yep. We're going to be taking it to the uh, dealer uh, uh, or the uh, mechanic shop, uh, the diesel mechanic shop. And then uh, we're going to return it. And I'll see if I end up liking it, if everything checks out, and if I end up making a deal or not. So go check it out. Thanks for watching. Thank you again, Busy B, for another great day. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Still gonna make that shirt. Yep. <laughs> and um, we'll see you ninjas in tomorrow's Saving video. Green. Take care. Peace. Bye, Bisbee. Save it green.